Hi, today I want to talk to you a little bit about wells and cisterns. It's not uncommon for properties listed in our market, uh, primarily our rural subdivisions, to have wells and cisterns. And for those of us that are local, we know what that means, but a lot of times we run into questions from out-of-state buyers and don't realize until they make a special trip out to the property um, from far away or even just from Billings local area that uh, they discover that there is no well on the property. And a lot of times people aren't familiar with what a cistern is and, and how it operates. So in many of our rural subdivisions, we have uh, higher elevation properties that drilling for water can either be extremely expensive or not possible to hit. We are fortunate in our area, we have some of the most knowledgeable water well drillers around and they have experience in all of these areas and they can tell us uh, pretty accurately whether the, a particular property can obtain water or not. But when you're looking through cis, uh, listings and you see a property that uh, says cistern, um, sometimes they'll say cistern slash well. What that means is on a cistern only property, there is no well and no water source. So the house runs off of a cistern and that water has to be either hauled by you as the individual or hire an outside company to bring the water in. Uh, in our area uh, in Columbus, we are fortunate. We have a couple of water stations uh, locally here and the majority of people do haul their own water. Um, most common is a cistern of 2,000 or 2,200 gallons on a, on a property and which is, is uh, more than adequate to handle a household. Uh, many properties have two cisterns uh, to ensure that they um, have water at all times. But it is something you have to, as a homeowner, uh, be aware of and um, understand that you have to either haul that water yourself and the house is um, run from that cistern. When it says cistern well, in our area, we also have many uh, low production wells um, that might produce maybe one to two gallons per minute and they feed a cistern or two cisterns. And that's actually uh, uh, not a bad situation at all. The one or two gallons will adequately keep water stocked to the house in a 2000 gallon cistern that you should not have problems keeping up. Uh, you do wanna be aware that if you're planning on having livestock and that sort of thing, that uh, you're gonna have to have a large, larger water source and uh, it's going to entail hauling more water or having more, more water hauled in. So just a little bit of a heads up. Um, always ask your agent, you know, when this says cistern, what does that mean? So have any questions, please feel free to give Stephanie or I a call. Uh, we're always available. Thank you.